Hey guys, today we're gonna have a look at some uh, pretty impressive piece of history here, of computer history, and that is Windows 95. This was pretty much a very, very good job done by Microsoft. This was a very nice operating system, which got, which spread very fast on stores and you know people really bought this because it brought some uh, very nice features so yeah if you know what Windows 3.1 had to offer well this uh, this Windows 95 just re revolutionized the operating systems so we got pretty nice starting sound there and let's see what we can do here with this operating system first let me let me set the resolution so we can put this into full screen oh, should be fine okay so let's see what when what Microsoft did so first um, Windows 95 is finally working with 32-bit applications so it also supports the um, DOS Win uh, 16 ones so yeah that that was a very nice improvement also the system requirements for Windows 95 I mean the minimum system requirements were were very low I mean I think it was like 4 megabytes of RAM but obviously with the, with those uh, specifications you wouldn't be able to do uh, multitasking and that multitasking is also something that really made this operating system being so awesome back in the days so you could basically run more programs at once and that's pretty much what multitasking is and that helped a lot so you know it also supports files file names up to 255 characters so a mixed case character so you could have as you see some capital letters and normal letters and DOS basically uh, had that limit to eight characters or something so yeah this uh, Windows 95 definitely brought a lot of new new stuff um, back in the days so you know yeah it all this version that I have here also got Internet Explorer I think it's uh, IE5 yes so let's go ahead and see this one first because you know apparently asks me to download something I'm gonna do that now and I think we don't have sound for some reason I don't know why but anyway we don't really need that now alright so this is uh, IE5 it was um, kind of the latest version supported by uh, Windows 95 I think yep yeah that's true so let's go ahead and try to see how YouTube looks with this browser just for fun oh we do have sound that's good so we have obviously it's not lo no longer supported and probably if you would be going with this browser today not only you wouldn't be able to view most of the pages but you'll also get malware running on your PC faster than uh, the operating system would boot up so yeah that's not very good because you know these browsers aren't very secure and technically the entire uh, Internet Explorer isn't very secure so you're, you'd be better to go off with our browsers such as Google Chrome or Firefox those are awesome and alright let's see uh, another awesome thing introduced by Windows 95 and that is uh, Windows Explorer so uh, Windows 3.x had that thing called file manager which was kinda similar to this but we don't like uh, the Windows Explorer was a very nice improvement to that file manager so if file manager had only um, the file and close method to kill this Windows Explorer has these 
awesome buttons right here in the top in the top uh, right and as you can see these buttons are being continued in every version up until Windows 8 so got a minimize button which minimizes the window and puts uh, it in the taskbar which is also a very nice element introduced by Windows 95 that we're gonna talk about in a few seconds we got a maximize button which um, basically maximize the window and also we got the minimize yeah and the close button which just closes the window and that's you know a lot more user friendly than going to file and close every time and Windows 95 also got the taskbar which is you know pretty awesome and the start button which um, is being uh, included in every Windows version until Windows 8 that was a very big mistake in my opinion from Microsoft side by removing the start button in Windows 8 but hey we're not Microsoft we're not discussing that now right now so we got this um, nice uh, menu here you can suspend or shut down from here got the run which is you know kinda useful can run the DOS prompt and yeah you gotta know that Windows 95 is a DOS based operating system so it kinda runs as a shell over DOS over MS-DOS so this uh, MS-DOS prompt basically allows you to do every DOS command so yeah uh, Windows 95 also allows you to um, boot straight into DOS so if your Windows files are being damaged and you cannot boot any longer into Windows you can go ahead with DOS and try to fix some shit you know but that depends and yep uh, let's see what else we got here we got this help thing here some sort of tutorial it's telling you some some crap uh, okay and what else oh yeah we got the media player which is some standard some standard med media player here um, it didn't last very much because in Windows Millennium Edition it they replace it if I remember correctly they put something some improvement here something that looks a lot more similar to the XP uh, Windows Media Player and if you go ahead and look at the version this is um, 6.4 yeah it's rather old you know alright so close this and let's see do you have something else here have the control panel kind of similar to the current one you know have a few options here internet options you could you know change the home page and basically a lot of cool stuff back in the days this was really really awesome compared to Windows 3.x and alright good also the add and remove programs which looks a lot different than uh, the current version and as being included in XP Vista and 7 so okay so yeah a bunch of features here you could change the screensaver this, this is the best screensaver I swear I mean how can you like this it's not gonna let us do it I guess okay but remember three this one is just awesome and I could spend hours looking at this it's like a game now really okay so I guess we cover pretty much everything about Windows 95 hopefully oh yeah we also got the date and time we can change it from here rather easily so yeah pretty cool stuff alright so oh yeah the Outlook Express which was uh, their program for email oh yeah obviously we're gonna do that now and they also had the uh, MSN Microsoft Network which was pretty much 
their own uh, stuff, you know, their, their own dial-up network. Okay. So, yeah, we're good to go. We're going to talk later about, apparently we have some, I don't know what this is exactly, some sort of built-in inbox, I don't know. Okay, so we're going to cover, next video, we're going to cover Windows 98, because that was, that one was also very nice operating system and while Windows 98 is kinda moddable I mean you can improve Windows 98 a lot by using some specific programs that we're gonna talk about in uh, next videos Windows 95 is pretty dead when it comes to this so you can't really do much about that and as you can see uh, it doesn't have back buttons or forward buttons and a lot more things are missing from here which are going to be added in uh, Windows 98 so okay guys thank you for watching and please just go ahead and watch the next videos as well if you like the old school operating systems that you know made Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows 8 possible today so okay bye